Welcome back, boys. My name's Rob. This is Sarah. We are usually building fast things. In this, in today's episode, we are going to show you how to install a high top on a van. Now, this is a Chevy Astro. This is Project Bad Astro. And there's, <laughs> there's a lot of things going on in this van. If you want to hear more about that, you can click up here. But the, you know, the big, the big thing is we 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 love Astros because of their compact size. And the problem is we just wish we had a little bit more headroom. Um, I think the biggest disappointment is we were looking for a high top Astro and when we were in the market shopping around we found a couple but they were all smoked. They were, they were bad. Yeah. So we're going to show you how to remedy that situation by installing a high top on your own. Now you can purchase high tops from companies because uh, van life is popular. <laughs> there are companies making high tops for Astros again but you're probably going to be spending like three to five thousand dollars and that's only that, that's that's for the roof itself not including shipping to get it to you so if you and labor to put it on yeah if you live far away from those places you're probably gonna be paying like it's it's obscene so i could show you guys how to install the high top on this really mint um low mileage astro but instead um we're going to show you how to do it on project back astro what is project back astro well here you go Want to talk about this? No. no. <laughs> this is the silliest thing we've ever undertaken, and we've undertaken a lot of silly things. So, so I don't know. So this is a half van, half boat trailer that was built with very questionable uh, decisions and quality. It, it was probably built by someone who did a lot of meth. I don't know. Um, God, no, come on. <laughs> who knows, man? It, it, was, it was real hack. It but was, uh, it, it, was, was, uh, yeah. it was really cheap. And we dragged it home. If you want to see our adventure getting this thing and getting it here, um, you can click up here. It's a pretty entertaining video. Probably one of my best videos ever because <laughs> it's so friggin' ridiculous. But what have we done to this since? Well, we have gutted it. We have chopped off the entire front end and glued up a bunch of pink foam. This is going to be sculpted and finished to quasi-automotive standards. The reason we did this was because the Astro is underpowered. It's got a 4.3 V6 and it doesn't have much torque and it struggles on the highway even at 75 by itself. So Sarah really wanted to get a trailer and I'm like, you know what, that's going to be a ton of drag. Yeah, like if one of those big campers pulled behind this little puppy would have just Yeah, been, it would yeah. probably just smoke your transmission. Yeah. So the thought here was if we could get a trailer that kind of slip streamed right behind the Astro, it wouldn't really change the way it drives on the highway and I'm gonna preface again with thought we stumbled across this and we justified it to ourselves by all the things that he's saying <laughs> yeah and and it was like four hundred dollars yeah, that so, was three, wasn't it? yeah I don't remember so like I said high tops are very expensive so what we did instead of spending money on a high top is I pretty much searched all the junkyards in the state and I found an Astro that had a high top in the junkyard I got the junkyard to take it off and it was a disaster you don't look happy. It's a piece of shit. Sarah spent I don't know how many hours and inhaled yes. I don't know how many pounds of fiberglass dust, but some someone had put something heavy on this and completely fractured it. So if we added up how much time we have in this, it's pretty obscene. But anyway, if you want to We were click, in a bit of a pinch and we needed it and it yeah, I was like, sure I'll do all the manual labor that Yeah, and we, because I'm comfortable working with fiberglass and composites, um, we decided to tackle it anyway. Uh, normally we're building high performance boats and stuff on this channel, but in this case we were using our fiberglass skills to resuscitate a pretty much scrap high top. Like this is this is the worst condition high top I've ever seen in my life, and now it's on the van, and it's mainly because of this girl right here. Yeah. Anyway, enough talking. Let's uh, let's get to doing. Here is how you install a high top. All right, so we just put this up here to see how it fits, and then it looks like we're gonna need to remove the third brake light, which you can see in there. So we're gonna take that off after we pull the roof off, and then we're gonna cut a hole in it. Hey, I'm nervous. <laughs> Now we're trying to figure out where we're gonna cut the roof. But we're trying to figure out how big of a lift do we wanna leave. And basically on this side, this is where we're gonna have the kitchen and some storage and a bathroom. 
um, you really don't need headroom. And what we were talking about was leaving the sheet metal here so that we have a shelf for skis because again, the end goal is to get out west. So we're just trying to imagine two sets of skis right here. And you can see that they'll probably fit if we cut on this blue line right here. So we're gonna have a shelf full length just for the, the sticks. Yeah, and that'll work out great because the fridge is 14 inches wide. So our kitchen is gonna be at least that if you account for insulation against the wall. So this should be no problem, right? Yep, let's do it. All right, so now we're looking inside the van. Just a couple ribs here, just trying to figure out where we're gonna cut it. And you said I want headroom? Yeah, I definitely want the headroom, so I think that one. All right, so there's a lot of videos on people getting the roofs off of vans, really. But I'm gonna do two things differently here. One, we're gonna try it the easy way. A lot of people use Sawzall. It leaves a really rough cut. What we're gonna use is an air hammer. And I bought this tool for it, bit for it, called a claw ripper edging tool. Now supposedly you throw this on an air hammer and I should be able to open this thing real easy. It should leave a nice clean cut and supposedly cut like butter but we'll find out. The other thing I'm gonna do a little differently is I'm going to capture this differently. I have a Skydio 2 autonomous drone. This thing will fly around while I do whatever I want. So this is gonna be the first drone shot on YouTube of a van getting its roof removed, I think. So I'm gonna launch the drone, throw this on here, and then we're gonna take the roof off. Okay, so he's launching the drone and we're starting cutting the roof off and there's a whole lot of anxiety, but it's gonna be great. <laughs> okay, this is gonna take a little while. Let's time lapse. So we'll have like this much height when it's installed. I know, it's gonna be perfect. Yeah. <laughs> like that. But yeah, we actually wanna see what it's like. So now that the roof is off and the ribs are out, we're gonna throw the topper back on here just cause, so. Just, just to see. <laughs> Let's do it before it gets dark. Okay. All right, there, the uh, roof is off, the ribs are out, and the high top is just sitting there. We're gonna go see how much room we have in there now, after it's all that work. better have been worth it. <laughs> okay. I have I have concerns, but keep coming. I, I don't know, we're gonna, it's really, really close. Okay, hang on. Um, okay. Maybe it's my fat butt standing on the bumper helping. Oh my goodness. No, hang on. I want to get off the bumper. Oh, oh God. All right. Well, damn it. Okay. I can't believe it fit. Oh my goodness. I don't, I don't even know how we did that. All right. Well. So the idea was 
having a shelf up here to, to uh, put the brewskis. <laughs> and by brewskis, I don't mean beers, I mean PBR brewskis. The problem is that it doesn't fit. It's a little bit too little. The roof is crowned, it's higher here than it is here. So when we were looking at the height of the high top, I was like, oh, eight inches, every girl's dream. And um, the, because it's crowned up toward it, it doesn't fit. So to start, we're gonna put Sarah inside the van and she's gonna lift up and then I'm gonna place the blocks under it to uh, space it off the top of the roof. With my superhero strength, I'm somehow gonna... Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One thing you gotta do is make sure the roof is pretty clean. There's a bunch of metal dust and dust in general, maybe some pink foam dust. Um, but we're gonna have to get that nice and clean before we put down the butyl rubber sealant. So let's uh, commence the cleaning. Hey Sarah, I need you to clean something. So now we need to basically take this stuff and stick it up on the roof, I think. On the topper, you mean? Yeah, we're, yeah. Gonna, we're gonna need some wax paper too. Cause then what we'll do is we'll put wax paper on top of the pink foam blocks and then we can move them around without it sticking. Sure. And then we can align it and drop her down. Drop it like it's hot, no Sarah. Way. No, I'm not gonna be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> so the other thing we're talking about is we got this aluminum trim. This was really hard to find. I, I don't even remember where we got it. I think it was Camping World and someone had to look up something in one of their supplier catalogs. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have the butyl rubber under here and then the aluminum trim here distributing that load. I don't know how we're bending that aluminum right there yet. What Sarah and I were talking about was where do we put the seams for aluminum, so. Yeah, and I said, I mean, really the only place it's gonna be visible is on the front. If we start in the front and do the first piece almost like a C around it, and then we can do another one back and around to the back on either side where it's kind of up here and no one's gonna care. Yeah, then we're gonna be starting with the hardest possible part because I that, that bend, yeah. I don't know what we're doing, maybe, maybe. But also we have three pieces and we might as well like do the hard part that we're likely to mess up when we still have like more materials. Yeah. So the width of this is pretty much the width of the flange we're sealing against. I'm not running it all the way to the edge. I'm kind of putting the paper to the edge and then it's kind of set back just a little bit. I don't know if that's right or not. <laughs> that, that actually went on pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, one thing that I want to do though is I want to put another layer of butyl rubber pretty much from here forward there's a lot of compound curves happening here and like this surface that the angle of this surface is not really touching this in a flat flange like manner it's kind of coming like down and only touching the perimeter so i want to basically have a really thick seal here that's definitely going to compress i might even like wrap over the front edge a little bit and then trim it with a razor blade once it is down i think that's my plan So, so we put an extra layer on the back corners as well, and she is questioning all of this. No, well, I mean, the whole time I have been, but no, I just wondered if he thought we should use the other roll and do another layer on everything. And I'm going to confidently say I have no idea, so. <laughs> and time. There goes nothing. Ha <laughs> ha.
<laughs> All right, so Sarah's just jamming some extra butyl tape kind of in the wedge between the roof and the roof where we could see little bits of daylight. <laughs> and but that's that's before this is all clamped down. So we're just basically shoving extra butyl in there. And now we're going to start clamping it. I'm going to start in the front. So I'm going to mount this aluminum trim with these uh, self-drilling metal screws by PowerPro. Not sponsored, just telling you what I'm using. We're going to mount this bar up there and see how it bends. All right, so to do compound curves, what I'm using is a dead blow hammer. And what you wanna do is put a fastener for the start of your curve. And then I'm just kinda of like tapping it. And this, this will bend really easy this way because it's thin this way, but it's really hard to bend it up. So what we're gonna do is kinda of manhandle it. And you're gonna see it buckle. So now there's a gap. And what I'm gonna do is just keep hitting it the real light a bunch of times and it will gradually conform oh good we already have a rust spot that we're oh, uh -oh. <laughs> oh that's a hole oh no well we were gonna find that pretty soon anyway so well done finding it immediately yeah except that's really gonna be hard to fix now that there's this right on top of it yep. that's a hole Oh my God. You didn't do that. That was like that. You just sort of broke the surface. If anything, this thing's going out, like going off the side of a cliff on some mountain pass. That's my prediction. Taking us with it. <laughs> Okay, so the top is on. Where are you going? Nowhere. He ain't going nowhere. He's going f nowhere. Where are you going? Nowhere. I got this this trim from Keystone RV, and this is what fits this goofy aluminum trim. I did realize I made an error. There is a little hanging lip, which means I probably should have mounted all of this stuff all the way to the edge as far as I could, because then that, that lip would sit against the body of the van. Right now it's gonna be kind of like that. <sighs> Whatever, it'll be fine. Um, we're gonna silicone this thing anyway, but you know what? This is uh, this is not bad. I, I also I also still want to trim some of the butyl that's kind of sticking out here. But look at that! Look at that bend, boys. That looks uh, looks quasi professional, I would say. So pretty geeked that the high top is on this. The next thing we're gonna be doing to this is finishing the front end, which he's coming along, but long way to go. So. Yeah, look at this, look at this setup. Look at this. There is nothing like this anywhere else on YouTube because no one is doing something this stupid. <laughs> All right, high top is on. It's pointing, it's, that, it's there, it's, it's right here. <laughs> It's not going anywhere either. <laughs> so that's how you install a high top. That's how we installed a high top. I don't know if it was the right way to do it, but this is uh, this is how we're gonna do it. Um, that fits, it fits with the whole belt. That's yeah, good. I think if you wanna take it a little further, you could also throw some silicone on there as well when you're putting that edging on there, but I'm, we're gonna get to that at a certain point and probably do that after paint. Hopefully, uh -huh. hopefully you learned something or at least entertained with us struggling. So <laughs> stay tuned for more content on this thing. It's no, you're not going to find anything like this on YouTube because it's too stupid. So <laughs> cheers. <laughs> <laughs>